Today we are watching the most crazy football derby in the Netherlands. Vitesse versus NAC Nijmegen. The cities of Arnhem and Nijmegen lie close together and are situated in the east of the country. In fact, split between two rivers. The Rhine running through Arnhem and the Val running through Nijmegen. But enough of the location, these two clubs hate each other like nothing else. There's been riots, hooligans causing trouble and all round chaos. In fact, the most recent devastating viral news was a stand for the fans collapsing. This was Vitesse celebrating their away derby day win, however the fourth Fortunate news was no one was injured. I have visited both clubs before and I can sense the pride and passion from the fans. Let alone on Derby Day where it must be absolutely mental. And that's why I want to return and experience it myself. Vitesse are struggling in the league, however their head-to-head -head record versus Nijmegen is so strong and dominant in recent years. It's literally been eight years since Nijmegen have beaten Vitesse. But I don't think there's been a better time for that record to end than today. It's going to be special, passionate and tense, but one I'm really looking forward to. I am on the road to 100,000 subscribers, so if you are new, please Please subscribe. I love the Dutch football culture and I'm always addicted to returning. And we're here again. Oh my god, I literally should just move here. But my word, are we in a rush right now? I couldn't really afford any delays and I was delayed half an hour, so we're cut against it. But I might just have to get a taxi to the station, which costs 30 euros. Also, there's one bad news about today, and that is there's no away fans. Banning away fans and the away allocations, like why are they doing this? I don't understand it. Nightmergen fans are not happy about the situation and they still plan to travel. I don't know if they're gonna cause trouble, but that's what I've been told anyway and we're at Eindhoven Central. I'm so glad I got that taxi. I may be 30 euros down, but nevertheless, we're actually gonna make a train which gets me there in a good time. Do you know what? Let's get a quick coffee too. 6 a.m. flight, I need it. Yes, yes, Hi. cheers. Thank you, early mornings. <laughs> you know what's needed. That's it, 9.34, 10 minutes. But do you know what? The sad thing about today, we're watching Vitesse, the home side, and I had a great time the last time I was here. It was a draw against Pegswell, I think it was, but they could be going bust very soon because of their ownership problems. It's just not looking ideal. It, let the chaos begin and I tell you what this could be the last ever derby between these two sides Vitesse could be bankrupt I'm not saying that lightly this is genuinely serious I will always say how beautiful the station is by the way there's a lot of police dotted around in their pairs what a beautiful day for some football the weather the last few days has really made me happy and I always love returning to Arnhem I stay here a lot actually hotel wise to go to other games as well but today derby day ah oh, I'm excited And here we are for game one of today. Look at this, Vitesse Stadium right here. From the outside, I'm not gonna lie, it looks really impressive. And inside as well, I think the roof is actually open for today as the weather's actually good. But we have returned once again. Obviously with no away fans today, the police is quite on the low side today as there's no away fans in the area. They actually said that they were going to be here, the ultras of Nijmegen, but um, they're not, they're not here. But with 25 minutes till kickoff, there I go inside now. I must say though, it is an impressive stadium from the outside. I know I've already said it, but I can see it in the light for once and it's good. Right then, we're inside the stadium. I'll tell you what, look at it. From the inside I like it I've already said this but no way fans on the right section of this stand I'll tell you what football is nothing without away fans I think regardless of there being any away fans the home atmosphere the home fans the ultras the team are gonna put up as well I can hear the noise now I think it's gonna be really good behind there I like doing derby days and this one in particular this could be the last one just to explain as well why there's literally empty seats around it Vitesse had to restrict the ticket sales due to Nick basically buying in the home end and they don't want any trouble so they've restricted it and just cut off the sales so for safety reasons they've cut the sale and it's a little bit empty nevertheless this is the stand to be now look at this the team going up what it says I'm not too sure but the eagle here yeah. This is probably the first time I'm behind the Tifo. And I tell you what, it's just always so creative. But this means the players come out very, very soon. And the pyros start to go off. Oh, come on then. The big derby day. No away fans, of course, but it's all due to the safety. Look how many is going off here. Flipping it. Tell you what, it would have been a bit more intense and more up for if the away fans are here, but this doesn't stop them. They're, they're all going off now. Look at this. <laughs> you can hear the pops. You can hear it all. Wow. 
this is the big one for the fans. The absolute big one. Wow, man. This just excites me. Not only the banner, but the Paros down here as well. And they're going to put that down for the fans to see. That is some sight. This is what I mean for them. The big one. This means absolutely everything to supporters. It's so bright as well. Look at it. Flipping it. It's like a bonfire down there. Just incredible. It's the perfect world for a place to go on. They may be struggling in the league and as a club, they could go bust very soon. It's so sad, but games like today for the supporters, it means so much. You want to win this game and it could be the last one as I keep saying. Look at the reception for the goalkeeper. Look at this. The hatred here is mental. I don't think this yellow smoke is going to stop anytime soon as well. On paper, there's only one winner, but in Derby Day's form goes out a window. The fans are jumping around. My word, this is shaking. The stadium is literally shaking. And I've been going on about in the intro about a stand collapsing. It just better not collapse. Really good atmosphere here. And we've kicked off here. Here it goes. Stand up for Vitesse. The stadium is definitely on their feet. Corner ball! Look what it means to the fans. If they're celebrating like that for a corner, flipping, hey, if the goal goes in. They're fighting for the badge. The pushing is absolutely crazy to an interception. This is one heck of an atmosphere, I tell you. Again, saved! This is a crazy start. I'll tell you what, corner ball! I want them to score to see what this season will be like because this is just mental. There's so much tension every time they go on the attack. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling this moment of space he has here. Oh, no! The game's starting to calm down a little bit. Oh my god, what a chance that is. Everyone's always so kind in the Netherlands. This guy, buy me a beer, like watching the football, Derby Day in a beer, you're not complaining, are you? And that is our time here, really intense first half. But the players are fighting for the badge and with passion, so it's been really good. It's got to be a bit more clinical in the final third. But overall, what experience has been so far? There may not be any goals, but the atmosphere, oh. And the second half is underway. Let's see what this brings. I think there's only going to be a goal in this. I think there'll be one goal. Oh my god, it's a big chance here. Oh, honestly, going forward, it's looking so promising. This is our final ball. More pyros going off down at the bottom. It's such a cagey game. Whether this goal's going to come or not, I don't know. Uh-oh. What a save! That save was phenomenal. Oh. Getting a bit fiery down in that corner. Oh. And it's 1-0. They were growing into the game and then see Fred's in through and it's 1-0. 1-0 to the wayside. I think that's the story of their season. They look promising the whole game, but the final third, they can't put their chances away. They go down the other end and put their chance away. It's all kicking off. It's all going off down here. Oh, there must have been a fan celebrating or something, that goal. I think everyone thought that was going to happen as well. Something's going off there. Oh, I do wonder what's going on over there. I'm not going to lie. Because to me, it just looks like the police officers or security there. I don't know what, what's going on. Unless one of the police or the fans? Honestly, I haven't got a clue from here. What's going on? Now, now this guy's taking off some sort of banner. Oh, honestly, I haven't got a clue. It's all going off. It's all going off in here. What is going on? I honestly haven't got a clue what's going on in there. I think the police are trying to defend up, I guess. Honestly, clueless. He just, he just fell over the ball. 
Flipping heck. Right. Right, okay. Whoa, the anger in this stadium, understandably. Looks like that record's gonna gonna go unfortunately. I'll say one thing as well, it's a depressing time to support this football club. So much is going wrong. Whoa, it's all going off here. All going off in this corner as well. Yeah, I can't really give you an explanation of what's going on in the stands with the police and the fans, if I'm honest. Now there's a pyro on the pitch and you all know what happens. Normally if there's something on the pitch and the game is suspended or the game is being suspended because of that action. So because someone threw that on, the game is now suspended for 15 minutes, I believe. And it's 3-0 this time. That first half was so promising as well, but this time around, they're just putting their chances away and they're, they're just more clinical. And that is full time. The record has ended the eight year stream. I just feel sorry for this because not only is the club lying really, they haven't beaten their rivals today as well.